Hey guys, welcome back to Geek in the Closet and today is going to be something special as I am not going to review an action figure but I'm going to review this awesome, awesome Gotham Alleyway diorama over here. Now this diorama is actually handmade by Mr. Zeman himself. This is his, uh, his name card over there. As you can see his full name is over here. And of course I'll be providing his uh, link to his Facebook page together with his Instagram. If you guys actually want to you know, get um, some commissioned dioramas from him or whatsoever, you can actually uh, get in touch with him, which is, his stuff is really, really cool right there. He even provided me with a receipt with a warranty, a one week warranty if, you know, I tend to break anything uh, whatsoever and then he'll be able to fix it up. Now the measurements for the diorama would be 12 inches tall, 12 inches in length and from the, the width would be approximately six inches around there. Now let's take a closer look at the diorama itself, guys. Now, the street right here is actually made out of a rough material, sort of like sandpaper. It feels like sandpaper. It's very, very rough. All right, as you can see here, there's actually a drainage system over here, which is really cool. As you can see, it actually looks all kind of disgusting. As you can see, it's actually you know like dirt it's like a lot of garbage sticking out from it and then right here you can see like a lot of newspapers new newspaper cutouts yeah I love this the garbage that he uses this paper right there really looks realistic very very cool Gotham Globe as you can see all right little bit of dirt hanging out from it it's really really cool right there and what I really like about this <laughs> is that he even provided a Gotham City property cutout over here a, a, a sign that signifies the this garbage bin belongs to Gotham City property as you can see it like Oh god, this looks disgusting. But this is really cool. The rust detail on it is really, really impressive. You can provide it like a lot more garbage inside here. Gotham. Gotham Times. Batman, Savior, or Menace. It is the flap, it is the cover, the garbage bin cover, which is not articulated. So it's actually stuck back there and I'm not going to touch it as I might break it. So he even provided like rust on the piping. Really, really good job. Freaking awesome. Damn it. The walls. This is the ventilation device. There's actually even a fan on, it, on the inside. Mitsubishi. Oh, fantastic. Now this is the lights that he provided and this, this is actually a working light which is very cool. I'm just going to show it to you like that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. There's actually two of them. There you go. I'm moving on to the door. Now this door actually initially wasn't supposed to be here, but then he, he decided to put it there. Zeman decided to put it there because it looks, you know, make, make, makes it look like it's even better now. Very, very cool. Harvey Dent for District Attorney. I believe in Harvey Dent. The doorknob. Fantastic job. God. Go. The walls are actually, I thought it was initially made of styrofoam, but it's actually not, as I was told, because this is a very hard material. Now I have to let you know guys, I'm not very, very good at creating dioramas or architecture or something. So you gotta like, actually get in touch with Zeman himself to be able to ask him about all these questions. Like the materials that he used to, 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 to do this diorama. The piping, a little bit of rust still. 
awesome, awesome detail. Now here's to give you an idea guys, if I were to turn off my lamps and I would just leave those on and this is the this is how it looks like without anything else. Which is really cool. It gives it like a um, an eerie look to it as it is <laughs> actually shining towards the um, the garbage over there. It's fantastic. As you can see really really cool lighting now just to show you guys how it looked like it looks like together with some figures here are some clown thugs over there as you can see the the, the scale and whatsoever is perfect the door no Brown thugs. As you can see, it's a perfect, perfect fit for all of my figures over there. Now let me get like the Thrasher, uh, a taller figure. As you can see, the Thrasher stand approximately here, which is a fantastic scale as well but I wouldn't put the thrasher over here because it might actually uh, block out a lot of the details whenever I'm taking photography or whatsoever yeah oh my god it's fantastic now overall there are just no words for me to describe how I feel about this diorama it's just amazing it's an it's a freaking impressive piece over here. I don't think this can be called as a review video anymore. It's probably like a reaction video because I was all like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know? Wow. So do I recommend Zeman to you as a merchant? Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, keep in touch with him, get in touch with him. I'll be providing his Facebook link together with his Instagram. On the, uh, under the description below together with my Instagram as well because I'll be taking a lot of photographs by using this diorama well that's it guys for for this video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you next time peace oh before I forget guys next week is Chinese New Year so Batman would like to wish you Gong Hei Fa Toy Bow, yeah.